G'day, Scotty Cam here. Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to plan that new dream kitchen. And remember, you can always drop into your local Mitre 10 store and have a chat with our mighty helpful staff who are always glad to lend a hand. And be sure to pick up our Imagine Kitchens catalogue and planning guide, which has got some great ideas for your new kitchen and can also assist with any project around the house. Now, you have to make a list. It may sound silly, but you need to ask yourself some questions about what you want in your kitchen. Think about appliances, plumbing, work areas, or any storage needs you have. Some good questions to start with are, does your kitchen need to cope with the demands of a family? Do you need extra drawers to make getting your pots and pans easier? Are you gonna put a dishwasher in? Or do you need a pantry cupboard for extra storage? Now, once you've measured your space, you need to consider your workflow and layout. Now, the workflow in a kitchen is usually called the working triangle. And that is the path taken to the most common areas, meaning the fridge, the stove, the sink. The smaller your working triangle means less time spent in the kitchen. Now, when I'm in the kitchen, my working triangle's about this big. You with me? <laughs> there are four common kitchen layouts. The straight line, the L shape, the U shape, and the good old fashioned galley kitchen. All you need to do is work out which one suits you best. The straight line layout is best for when you only have limited space available. There isn't a working triangle in this design as your workflow happens in a straight line. One of the most common layouts is the L shape. It's ideal for homes that want to incorporate a small table for dining within the kitchen area. If you have a large space and want the most efficient working triangle, then the U shape is your best bet. It's great for families and offers maximum storage space with many wall cabinet options and the good old fashioned galley kitchen. This layout is becoming more and more popular as it provides two opposing work and storage areas. Add a couple of bar stools to the island and this layout offers you the perfect entertaining space too. Now with every project, there are some do's and don'ts that you have to remember. And the first and most important do is to seek the advice of professional licensed tradies when you're disconnecting or connecting anything in your kitchen. Do not muck around with this stuff. Let the professionals do their job. What you should do is install your dishwasher close to the sink for easier plumbing. This will save time and money. Allow a minimum of 1.2 metres between opposite cabinets. Allow 450 mil bench space as a minimum between your stove and the sink for food preparation. Make sure you've got a minimum of 650 mils between your cooktop and the range hood. Now here's a mighty helpful tip. Go to the Mitre 10 website and check out their nifty kitchen design tool. It's got a really simple step-by-step -step guide to help you design a fantastic kitchen that's just right for your home. They've got a great range of kitchens called Imagine Kitchens and they come in all colours and styles. You choose your bench top, you splash back your appliances and you create your own look. And it's flat packed, so you build it at home and save a heap. And all the cabinets are Australian made with a 10 year warranty, so you know the quality is spot on. And it's pre-drilled and downed, so anyone can build it, it's easy. So check out the kitchen design tool at the Mitre 10 website and download the catalogue. Find out where your nearest Mitre 10 kitchen store is and drop in and have a chat you'll find a mighty helpful.